Hi, my name is Marion Cruz. My product is the Turbo Baster. I'm seeking $35,000 for investment, and I'm willing to give up 30% equity in my company. The Turbo Baster. <laughs> the Turbo Baster is gonna be battery operated. It's gonna siphon up the juices more efficiently. It's also gonna come with the silicone basting brush, so you could baste your foods and vegetables more efficiently. It's also gonna come with an injector tip to inject your favorite marinades. That was amazing. It's like you're building a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on this for five years, and I think that anyone that loves to cook will need to have the turbo baster in their kitchen. I got a question. Can you also use the same syringe to be a temperature gauge as well? Damon, you've never been in your kitchen. You don't even know where the kitchen <laughs> in your house is. You can baste your hair with mousse. <laughs> we can make a sale here, too. How do you clean that? Well, it's going to come apart for easy cleaning. Can you demonstrate that here? Well, this is a non-working prototype. What's your estimated cost on manufacturing these things? OK, I'm thinking fashion kitchen colors, $19.99, but stainless steel model, $29.99. And what are you going to make them for, you think? I have no idea. I haven't done that part of the research. Ooh. Is there anything else out there like this? No. But Marion, prove to me that there is a market. Like, how do I know besides your charming personality telling me there's a market? Right. Because it does more than one thing. That's it? But Marianne, in all seriousness, don't you think it would have been important to know what you think your estimated manufacturing costs are? To know that me, as an investor, who's going to give you the $35,000, could figure out if I'd ever get it back? Why did you not figure that out first? Why didn't I? Because I'm a newbie, quite honestly. How many of the traditional ones are sold in the United States right now? You know, I have no idea. Oh. To be honest with you, I don't know, you know? <laughs> It's got to be millions. I mean, it's a big Why business. Why are we yeah. helping her? Because we love her. This. I love her. She's adorable. I love her. Let me tell you something. If you were in one of my business school stop classes, being mean to her. I would spray you down with water, and every time you say I don't know, I'd hit you with an electric cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to hey. know this stuff. So, Marion, mm. you have no product. You have a prototype. You have no sales, you're not sure what you're gonna sell it for, and you don't know your cost, but yet, we love you, and we're enjoying having you here. You know. It goes to prove that being nice goes a long way. It goes to prove that the brand starts with the person. Well said. Absolutely. We invest in the person. But anybody else out here, you would have been eaten alive. Well, we're not finished yet. Moran, you're a nice enough person. You're cute, you're bubbly, but you don't know any of your numbers. You can't even tell me if I can ever make a profit on this baster. For that reason, I'm out.